Hey guys, it's Dr. Jason Barker with the Natural Athletes Clinic and today I want to talk to you about a question I've seen floating around a little bit and that is, are endurance athletes more prone to insulin resistance? And real quickly, insulin resistance is a condition whereby the effectiveness of the hormone insulin is decreased uh, on the cells of the body. We depend on insulin to pull sugar or glucose into the cells to be oxidized. Uh, we know that endurance athletes in general, and many athletes depend on simple carbohydrates for good, quick, clean energy. And that's a proven fact, and there's nothing wrong with consuming those sugars during bouts of high intensity or even endurance exercise. The problem lies in maybe when an endurance athlete continues to eat like this after those training times, because if you're working out 15, 20, 25 hours a week, you know that you're probably just going to oxidize any of those calories and you probably got a huge appetite. Um, the research says that endurance athletes are, have three times the insulin sensitivity that a, the average sedentary person does. So they're very, very, very good at absorbing glucose and oxidizing it and burning it. However, uh, the answer to the question, are endurance athletes more prone to insulin resistance is maybe. Uh, it depends on genetics, it depends on the amount of training, it depends on the diet. So personally, I like to err on the side of, of caution with the athletes that I see. Uh, there's a saying that goes, you cannot out-exercise a bad diet. So with my athletes, the endurance, the endurance folks, I really like them to, um, you know, when they're done with the training, get rid of and quit consuming those simple carbohydrates. They really need to gear that down away from those training hours. So the rest of the time I want people eating lots of legumes and healthy fats and lean proteins and complex carbohydrates like veggies, you know, a good, clean, whole food diet. Um, you wanna stay away from those sugars when you are not training because all that does is spike your insulin and spikes the blood sugar and while you may be very capable of absorbing and dealing with that, it is a stressor on the body and we, again, wanna err on the side of caution and not consume too many of these sugars away from the, um, the training times. That will hopefully reduce some of that um, possible risk of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a, a bad deal. Um, it leads to prediabetes, or sometimes it's called that, can lead to type two diabetes down the line. You'll wind up with things like elevated uh, um, lipids in your blood, cholesterol and triglycerides. You can start to gain weight. You can become hypertensive, get high blood sugar, and it can even set you up for cardiovascular disease. Um, in the end, it kind of just um, snowballs into a complete metabolic meltdown. So it's something we really want to look out for. Now, the athletes that I see in the clinic, one, there's a couple of tests that I like to run at least once a year to make sure that they're behaving on their diets, and that is checking out a uh, just a simple fasting blood glucose. Uh, so I can see that that level is nice and low. We want it around. 90 if at all possible. Um, we look at insulin levels too. If you are making tons of insulin or your insulin production has um, uh, certainly come up as of late, we're gonna start to worry about that because that tells me that maybe the, that insulin is not getting, um, it's not doing its job on the cells and your body's demanding that you're creating more of that. And then the third test is something called the hemoglobin A1C and that is a historical record of your blood sugar over the last three months and i can see what your average blood sugar has been and if again if we see that one creeping up too we're going to have a little chit chat about your non-training diet and maybe even your training diet so we really want to have a good clean diet with low simple carbohydrate away from those training times so you can prevent something like insulin resistance okay i hope that helps thanks for watching and i'll see you guys again soon